Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grab, all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, the celebrities are out, the floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's gonna cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Big call punch lands. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. 
Look at him flip his hip to that kick. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Ooh. Big elbow there. Oh, straight right. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Able to check the high kick. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Head kick. While showing no signs of slowing down, 41 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Uppercut. And they separate. Under a minute now to go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. McGregor advances and lands flush with the left hand. Lands that left hand. He's always looking to land that strike, and he does it again in this big spot. Oh, big punch land. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight. Whoa! Big knee to the body. Now they're both throwing with power. Round two winding down. All right, so a high level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Second round underway.
Nice punch land over the top. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Beautiful. Again, back into this position. Beautiful leg kick thrown. And he landed the right hand there. Earth Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And they set. Relax, relax. Nice kick. McGregor going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, collar tie. Misses again with a right punch. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. That was a thudding leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to throw. Don't finish his fight. Nice one, two there. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's throwing hard in the pocket. Knee to the body. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands hurt. Both fighters throwing heat now. Blocks the shot. McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Round three next. Oh, big defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet.
All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. to land the kick to the body there by Connor. Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely of kicks. Kick, 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 huh. kick. Until you stop it, he's gonna continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they're fighting behind him real well. Oh, nice jab. What a body kick. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, single collar tie here. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice yeah. elbow there. The clinch. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Caught the kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Throws the right hand there. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You gotta think his longtime chief corner, John Kavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And now he's got that tie clinch. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh! oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. Way to hide that leg kick. Checks the leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Beautiful kick. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Just misses with that one. Back and forth we go. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at the huge elbow there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt. He's gone. He's done. He's done. <laughs> Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. We'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Bring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor!
So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knocking. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.